today we will show you a flat field correction for a line scan camera. We already have set up everything we need. So we have a camera running, the illumination is running and also an object we have and we can move it below the camera. So in the first step I will start the acquisition software and open the correct configuration. Now we can see a live image over here. The camera is in free run. We have the opportunity in the camera link shell to configure the camera. We already set up the analog gain, the exposure time and everything else. What we now see in our image is an uncalibrated line scan camera. We see some stripes in this image and now we would like to do a flat field correction for this. The first step of the flat field correction is the fixed pattern noise we would like to calibrate. For that we need a lens cover. I'll put it in front of the camera right now so we have a dark image. When we look at the histogram we see values a bit above zero here. After the FPN calibration we will see for all pixels a value around zero. For that we need the camera interface and we will use the special command CCF. That's a command we have to use for this camera. This may differ from camera to camera. So now I start and now FPN calibration is done. You can switch it on with the right command. When it's on we see that the histogram is around zero. So when we switch it off again, we see a peak that is above zero. But we will switch it on for our next step, the PNU correction. So in the second step, I would like to show how to make a PNU calibration. For that, I will move the lens cover again, see a more or less bright image, but it's still the normal test pattern. I will put a white target in front of the camera. Now in the histogram we can see that we have a pretty bright histogram, and also in the image in the background right now, we can see that we have some shading and when I move the target we see the texture of the white target, in this case it's paper. Of course we have to use the right command for it, in this case it is CPA with an algorithm of 2 and a destination value of 3600. 3600 as target value corresponds to the maximum brightness we would like to have for each single pixel in this image. The maximum value would be 4096. Now we choose 3600. This will correspond more or less to the maximum we see in the histogram right now. Now I have to start moving the target and start the command. When I'm moving the target I'm making the average of the paper pattern, otherwise we would see the texture of the paper later on in the flat field correction. That would result in stripes. So now we are already done with the second step. So I can switch on FPN and PNU. We look at the image right now. We see that it is much more uniform. And when I start moving the paper, we see only the texture of the paper, but not any stripes coming from the FPN, PNU or from shading.
So now I would like to show the difference between an image including a flat field correction and one without flat field correction. So the first step I will switch off flat field correction and make a sequence of two images, one including the flat field correction, the other one without. But we start with without flat field correction. For that I have to enable the line trigger and the image trigger. Now we start with the first image. This one is without flat field correction. Now we switch on flat field correction. Make the second image. Now we will go into the replay mode and we can watch both images in contrast. I will do it a bit slower. So this is without flat field correction. We see some darker parts and it's a bit brighter in the middle. So it's a not homogeneous image. The second image where we have the flat field correction switched on. We see a pretty uniform brightness level over the full line from left to right. So if we look at this region, we have a maximum value around 210. In the middle it's also in that region and on the right part it's the same. So we have a much more uniform image when we are using the flat field correction. The flat field correction consists of two parts. It's the fixed pattern noise we would like to take out of the image and also the PNU. But together with the PNU, we also make a shading correction. That's the reason we see a pretty homogeneous image right now, and these homogeneous images are much more suitable for image processing. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to know further details about line scan imaging, you can of course take part in one of our line scan trainings. For further information, just visit stemimaging.com.